Thank you for joining me. Everyone follow Dawn Knows Best, man. She knows best. Amen. Thank you. We are living La Vida Loca with Don Knows Best and Layla Knows What's Up. We have flown out to California for a family trip. And although Morgan seems to think that it's so that we can run away from getting a subpoena, it's actually so that we can just enjoy uh, some family functions that have already been planned. Now, we had to go get the COVID test. And not to say that things can get a little out of hand. But little Miss Layla here did feel a little bit violated. I'm not even going to lie. But it's also that provisions can be made to ensure the safety of those around us at the Great River Lodge. Nope, it is the Great Wolf Lodge. Yep, I keep messing it up. Don't judge me. So, big cousin Ben, who looks fine. I know my cousin look fine. We ain't even going to get into that. Um, he takes us all the times on family vacations. And normally I am just there looking cute. I ain't even gonna lie. I do not get wet. I don't get my hair wet. I don't get my mascara wet. My big old eyelashes, they don't get wet. Nothing gets wet. I go out to enjoy the environment, the atmosphere, not to get in the elements, honey. Yes, it's wet and wavy hair. Yes, when you wet it, it does get wavy. But no, nope, I don't even do none of that. Not even braids, baby. And braids are for vacation, but I don't even let my braids get whipped. Can't have them napping up on the trip. But yes, the kids are out. They're having fun, living their life. And I decide that I'm going to get a little bit of loca. I'm going to try something new. So as I have made my way up to the, um, to the room, I get a phone call from my best friend Chantel telling me to bring myself down so that I can get on the slide with her. Unbeknownst to me, she had other plans. See, I ain't know that. See, but that's why you got to be careful who you hang out with. But it's neither here nor there. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Uh-uh, other side. Other side. See the look on my face? That's terrible. I had not been told that this what I was going to experience. I, they did not tell me that I was going to get shot down a cannon. I, this is what happened. I was upstairs recording, doing my voiceovers for that video that I uploaded um, 
talking about Morgan and I getting into that argument. I think I had went live. I had ended up going upstairs. I get a phone call from my cousin saying, come on down. She said, ride the slide with me. That's why I'm like, you ready to go? No, nah, that's not what she saw me. She didn't tell me I was about to get shot down a cannon. That's not what she said. So, yes, I was shocked. I was a little bit in terror. Because for a second, I had forgot that if God be for me, who can be against me? But at the same time, you got to admit that you hear it. It always said, well, don't. Don't. And he, it was like he got shot out of a gun. That's not, mm-mm. Yeah. And I can't swim. Have I told y'all that? I don't know if I live with it. I can't swim. I don't know where they shooting me to. Like, no. I thought it was going to be like a little bit of water, like a slip and slide. She said, get, get right on the slide with me, and she know I can't swim. I thought she thought that we was going to go on a little slide. Or maybe even like a little playground slide with a little wrestle down, a little splash, splish splash, a little bit of water. But no, what she did was she falsely advertised us riding together, sliding together. To get me to this terrific ride. Nobody was even, it was like one person. Did y'all see all the other rides where I had to walk around all those people? That one, it was nobody there because it was like being dropped to death. Like, yeah. But did I do it? I did. I did. Because I had to remember. If God be for me, who can be against me? And I know y'all going to be like, but you cuss. That's between me and Big Papa. Don't you judge me. Oh, <laughs> What you have to understand is that what I walked into was like a little time capsule. And it reminded me of like a Pez dispenser. You know how you open the mouth, you open it, uh, 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 it opens the mouth. Okay, so I step in and you can tell that the floor can disappear. I'm, I'm already knowing this because I just saw somebody get dropped to their death. Um, and they close it. And then you hear a countdown of three, two, one. Now. They told me, as soon as I got in, hold, just hold your nose and breathe, <gasps> baby. As soon as I heard one, my natural reaction was to hold on for dear life, try to <gasps> grab something. Grabbing up to heaven. Grab it up. Oh, Jesus. Father. Angels. Cherubims. Just reaching. That's what I wanted to do because I was scared. I feel like I lost about at least two years off my life, but I know that I serve a guy who can extend as he did for Hezekiah. Don't play with it. But yeah, um, neither here nor there. Y'all got to go try that. But that's not the end of it. Watch. <laughs> My purple wig came off and I don't know really how to feel about this. I am a little bit distraught. Um, in the moment, I was taken so aback. I had to laugh to stop from crying. Um, the purple Sheba, she left me mid-flight. Imagine getting sucked up or out through a green straw filled with bleach water. Extra bleach water, baby, because they try to kill COVID. They try to kill meningitis. I feel like if I had a 
bacteria, it was gone after vet water. And losing one of the things that was an identified factor, like the water hit differently when the wig came off. Like I could feel it, it was gone. Like as soon as I got spit out, I started like, where am my wig? Cause I knew she had left me. I knew she had abandoned me. And I just haven't felt the same. Now keep in mind that everybody laughing as I get up and pick the wig up and shake off. Cousin, he didn't know whether to help me up or go run and grab the wig for me. The other lady that's trying to help me get out of this contraption. Because they don't want you to fall and break your neck. You need help getting out the slide. She laughing and she not trying to be disrespectful. I'm like, girl, go, go ahead and laugh. It's funny. But I have lost faith in the purple sheep. Because if you can't hold me down at my lowest, at my most vulnerable, when will you be able to hold me down? So I just haven't put her back on. And I feel like it's doing more harm to me than to her. But that's neither here nor there. With that being said, um, y'all had fun. Good fun. Um, wig on, wig off. Y'all, I think me the next day I took my braids down just to live happily without worry, without stress. That Purple Sheba was going to leave me again. Um, and what I can say is that through all of the activities they have, because they don't just have the water park, they have places where you can go and just let your kids do story time. You can go pay for the wand and there's like magic things that they can do. Through all these activities, I wasn't concerned about my hair. The only thing that I was concerned about was enjoying the moment, having a good, good time. Did I put the wig back on? Yes, I did. Was she wet and drenched? At, at that moment, I did throw her immediately back on. But as soon as I got to the room, the next day, braids out. Because it's not about what you look like. The main thing is about just enjoying being present and in the moment and having a good freaking time. I would highly advise it. They have great wolf lodges throughout the United States. Find one that's close to you. Set you up some time to go. Um, and be safe. Y'all be blessed. Be sure to follow Donald's best because she knows best, but I know better. <laughs>